Hi everyone, Pablo here again. So I'm back for another Salesforce community tutorial. So on this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to use the page properties and types in the community builder. So let me start from the start. So if you go to your setup, go to communities and launch your community builder, this is what you get. If you want tutorial on how I set this up, please check my other uh, YouTube video for this. So for this one, to set up page, the page properties for the home page, we just go to the home section here. So you see there's three dots here. If you click on those three dots, it will bring up more properties for you. So for the title, so let me change that to my home page. So this is what appears on the title bar, title bar up here. And this one, is for page access if you want the home page to be accessible only for login users or if you want it to be public or if you want it um, or if it requires login so let me pull out safari so by default this community requires login so this is what you get so i'm gonna turn this to public access and check out later what will happen. So for SEO, this is what you type in, which will appear on the uh, meta description of the of the home page for SEO. And for the layout, uh, this is where you change the layout that you currently have. So you can switch from one column to two columns. So what we currently have is the two by one column. So if I switch here and click on change. Um, click OK. This would refresh. Uh, yep. So not much difference. Cause we just noticed that the sidebar here disappeared. So that's how I use this. So if I go back here to the template pages to the home, uh, let me change that back to two columns and click change. Um, yep. You can see that this part is back. So let me just quickly publish this. And let's jump back into my Safari. See what happened when I changed the page access to public. So if I refresh this, any public user would be able to uh, wait. It's redirecting back to the login. Let me just remove all those junk that I created and just put bang. You would see that even the public would have access to the community. So that's how, uh, except for that one. I don't know what happened there. Let's try it again. Mm, boom. So something's not right there, but basically, if you set the page access to public it should be accessible um, what other things are here so aside from this one if you see uh, we'll dig on the components next but each one of this section here are built out of components we'll tackle that on another video uh, what you want to check is the page structure so this page structure will tell you what components are uh, located on the page so template header says that there's three so if you click on this it would highlight that and show the properties for that component similar for profile header and then you could change some stuff there navigation same thing so all of these will tackle on separate videos so let's go back to this uh, page properties so you can see that different types of templates here so you could click each one of them and start editing them. Uh, yep, so you see the contact support, you could add this uh, or add more brand to it, like put a header, put the feature, etc. Um, and on this section, you have the object pages. There's by default the detail, the list, and the related list. If uh, generic record page this record detail record so that's it and this is for the login pages so you could control them here as well so if you go to that login earlier 
we have. Yep, so this was the login earlier. This is where you could draw the look and feel of your login page. You could change the branding, change the font, remove some items here, etc. Add some header footer. And at the very bottom is the new page. So you could create a new page. So you could either create a new template page or you could create an object page. From there, here you could select the different objects in your Salesforce org that you want to expose. So if you click one, for example, account, it could create it would create three files for you: the detail, the list, and the related list. Simil similar to the case object that's uh, existing and out of the box. So I won't do that now. Um, let me just quickly jump back to the home page. I want to show you this page variation. So if you go to page variation. This and click on new page variation. This allows you to create different look and feel for each page. So the home page earlier was a two by one. I want to create a different um, one column one. So I'm going to say home two. I click create. This uh, would allow me to create a different view of the home page. So then I could plug in the components that I want here, etc. Let me go back there and fix the access. So if I go back to variation, uh, click on this down arrow and click on set audience criteria. So from here you could control which profile you want to have access to this new home page. So you could um, create new profile just specific to have this kind of access. There's also this location criteria, which you need to contact Salesforce for. So you could have a different region uh, that has a specific homepage or specific page just for them. So that's the use case for this one. So that's for the page properties. Um, hope you like it and more videos to come. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.